This is Keith Reynolds, and today is promotion day. Having worked at the company eight years, he's the most senior junior business analyst in the building. He's been waiting for this day for a very long time. When he gets his promotion, he'll finally be a successful businessman. This is important because it means Sarah will like him. That's her bending over now on the fourth floor. In an attempt to maybe trigger the beginnings of her wanting to spend the rest of her life with him, Keith Reynolds sometimes offers to make her a coffee. She never wants one. But Keith Reynolds always makes her a cup anyway. Meanwhile, on the second floor, Bill from Human Resources has just seen something, or someone, fall past the window. A quick check confirms that it was someone, and he phones an ambulance. Keith Reynolds' reflection is looking confidently back at him from the shiny surface of the inside of the elevator. He pictures the handshake in his head, the sound that the fat gold nib pen makes as he signs his name on the line. Patrick Campbell is slicking back his hair and straightening his tie. He's just received some good news and is on his way to tell a special someone. The handshake was weaker than expected. The pen is nowhere in sight. The promotion given to someone else. That's him telling his good news to Sarah now on the fourth floor. The same floor Keith Reynolds is heading toward. Perhaps Sarah would like another cup of coffee, maybe tea, hot chocolate, anything Keith Reynolds can do to take They were kissing. The elevator doors seemed to be staying open for an unusually long length of time. Their mouths were open. Keith Reynolds' fantasy of what he would do to Patrick Campbell if he were trapped in a small room with him was interrupted by the same Patrick Campbell asking him to hold the elevator door. He felt himself take a deep breath. Keith Reynolds can see Patrick Campbell's reflection looking confidently back at him from the shiny surface of the inside of the elevator. He exhales his deep breath, and as he does, three words slip out. Keith Reynolds had never told anyone to do that to themselves before, and almost instantly wished he still hadn't. His apology was obviously insufficient. Some quick thinking was needed. Keith Reynolds wonders whether the punch to his face will result in bruising. He wonders whether if he's quick enough, he can wash the blood out of his shirt before it stains. Whether Sarah likes a weathered man, a man, man. He then realizes that he has just killed Patrick Campbell. Some more quick thinking was needed. Ruth Charles from Accounts needs the toilet. Her favorite one in the building is on the seventh floor because it has a nicer soap dispenser. On account of her New Year's resolution, she takes the stairs. Keith Reynolds has decided to take Patrick home until he has time to dispose of him properly. He heads for the stairs. If someone calls the elevator on his way down, he'd be caught red-handed and no one likes a murderer. Ruth Charles has reached the sixth floor and is also thinking about going home. Right up until she sees Keith Reynolds on the stairs. Keith Reynolds, covered in blood and carrying a mutilated Patrick Campbell, sees Ruth's eyes roll in the back of her head. That was a genuine accident, and Keith is sorry. And also careful not to step in any of her blood on his way past. It already feels like hours since Sarah last saw Patrick, so she's decided to take some files up to his office as an excuse to see him again. After a quick rethink, Keith Reynolds has decided to climb down the rather convenient ladder he has spotted outside the fifth floor window. That way, he doesn't have to worry about passing security on the ground floor. Sarah sees Keith. He thought about saying something but decided against it. Maybe she liked the silent type. She looked at him in a way no woman had ever done before. He wished she would run into his arms, kiss him, and tell him she liked him just the way he was. She fainted. He guessed dead bodies had that effect on women. Fortunately, she was just clear of the stairs and would live to die another day. Keith Reynolds didn't know what he would do without her. And as Keith tugged Patrick out onto the ladder, he suddenly realizes... Realizes that a lot of people probably want the same things he does. A great job, a beautiful wife, happiness. And even if you're lucky enough to get even some of it, like Patrick down there, it only takes a moment and it can all be taken away from you. 
He takes one last look at the building that has been his life for the last eight years and sees a man he's never seen before. It was a rather surreal moment for Barry, whose job it was to mop the floors. Keith Reynolds, balanced there.